Hi, I'm Mike Ribas with the Multi Hole Company. We're here in Long Island, New York, and we're going to check out a 1996 Simpson 40 catamaran. So let's take a look at the cockpit. Here's the helm. Start the engine underneath this uh, panel here. Engine controls, compass, windscreen. Full bimini enclosure to keep you out of the sun. Uh, this boat has been spending most of its winters in the Exumas, so the owner is uh, well aware of how important it is to be able to stay in the shade. The sail controls, there's a winch on the starboard side for our head sail, and another one over here on the port side. And we have a traveler um, on the rear beam here for our main sheet. And some comfortable cushions. This is a very secure, cozy cockpit, um, very safe. You don't have to worry about any kids or dogs falling overboard, um, but still plenty of space for everyone to sit around and be comfortable. Okay, coming in from the cockpit, we have one step down into a large, well-lit salon area, plenty of seating. This table here folds out. You have several people comfortably sitting around, enjoying a meal. Over on the starboard side, we have a large chart table, plenty of drawers for storage, electrical panel, VHF radio, plenty of lighting so you have great visibility when you're out sailing. And then back over on the port side, we have our refrigeration. Uh, this is a fairly large box right here. This evaporator plate is um, for frozen foods and then the space around it um, is for refrigeration. And then there's a spillover box if you need extra refrigeration. You can remove these cushions here. And this is a spillover. Okay, we're gonna check out the port side. Two steps down here, and then aft we have a single cabin with three opening hatches, so lots of ventilation. And underneath um, this compartment here is our Yanmar engine. And then moving forward is the galley, we have a three burner propane stove, a separate propane oven, very large um, stainless steel sink and prep area. And then opposite of that is another very large stainless steel surface. Very clean to wipe down, keep clean and keep sanitary. The floors are all varnished wood, very clean. The bilges are all clean and dry. Okay, ahead of the galley, we have a very large cabin here. Again, very good uh, ventilation. Uh, we have three opening hatches, lots of storage for clothing. And then coming forward, um, up in the V-berth here, we have a, a head with a sink. Um, again, more hatches and some storage ahead of the uh, head. Okay, to get down to the starboard hull, we have a couple steps down here. And then aft, you have a utility room with a sink. The engine is underneath this compartment. Uh, hot water heater, inverter, other plumbing and mechanicals. Plenty of room for storage for tools. So if you disassemble the aft bunk, there is great access to the engines, the MR30 horsepower sail drive very clean uh, there's no hour meter but the owner believes there's about 2500 hours on these engines and then moving forward we have a very large workshop great space to do any onboard maintenance and repairs when you're out cruising lots of self shelf space for your tools and spare parts down here we have a village marine eight gallon per hour water maker Moving forward, we have a large cabin here. 
Again, lots of uh, lots of cabinets, lots of space to store clothes and throw other personal items. And then up forward, we have a head on the starboard side here with a sink. Some more storage behind the head there. And two opening ports. Okay, let's go check out the deck. All right, coming out of the cockpit here, our Weber grill. Steps down to the transom. Our rudders are in here. Good access down to the rudders in case you needed to service anything. We have nice wide decks to walk up forward. Nice trampoline for lounging around. So the rig is uh, aluminum, double spreader. We have a 130% Genoa on a uh, four spar furler. The boat also comes with 100% uh, jib. The mainsail is new um, in 2022. Both jibs were serviced in 2022 and the boat also has a uh, asymmetric spinnaker. There's a Tigris low friends windlass. There is 200 feet of 3 8 chain. We have a 60 pound Supreme and also a Fortress anchor. Very good um, ground tackle. Lots of storage down here. We have spare uh, jerry jugs for gasoline and diesel. Lots of spare lines, um, spare sheets. This is also where the uh, spinnaker and smaller jib live. And more storage for spare lines, um, snorkel gear. Propane locker, more spare anchor rod. Double spreader, aluminum mast, brand new mainsail in 2022, full batten mainsail. Nice cockpit enclosure with plenty of shade. Wind generator. And a spot on top of the dinghy davits for solar panels. So that is Simpson 40 Red Beans, um, built in 96 in uh, Doricor, uh, epoxy construction. It's a very solid boat. Um, the owner has owned this boat for 18 years. It's done several trips from the Southern Bahamas up to Long Island, where the owner's from. So it's a very seaworthy boat, um, well-built, well-maintained. The owner has recently taken all of his personal effects off there. So the boat is uh, it's clean, plenty of spare parts. Uh, it's ready to go sailing. So this is uh, really a unique package. Um, a nice boat, it's ready to go. Um, definitely worth taking a look at.